All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to install Sodium, which is an alternative to Optify and makes things run smoother with higher frame rates uh, for Minecraft so that everything runs really nice when you play Minecraft with all your friends. Um, so if you look on this page, I'll put these links in the video description below. Sodium is a Minecraft fabric mod, which means we need to grab the fabric mod loader on top of running Sodium as one of the different mods. So before we leave this page, I'm gonna go ahead and download this from the latest release. And then I'm gonna put this in my Minecraft shader folder right here. And that should be all nice and fancy there in a sec. And then I'm gonna go over here, Google Fabric Mod Loader and it should take you to their website. This is the downloads page. And then I'm gonna download the universal jar because that's the one that's just the easiest to use in general. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And if I open up this folder I've been putting everything in, I'm going to want to install the fabric installer first and then treat sodium as a mod, not an installer. But to do that, the first thing I need to do is make sure to go over to your Minecraft launcher and then download the latest version or whatever version of Sodium you're trying to install of Minecraft. And I say which version you're trying to install because oftentimes Minecraft is a version or two ahead of the mod creators. You gotta give them time to update their stuff, but you just gotta click it and then play it at least once so that it boots. Well, at first it downloads and then it boots up into this mode so you can see it and you can play it and all that good stuff. And then once that's done, you should be able to run the fabric installer. So if we double click the fabric installer, it'll detect that I've got Minecraft 120.4 it's going to load the loader version 0.15.7. Don't mess with that setting. And then it's going to find the location where my launcher keeps all of its files in the app data folder. If you moved your app, your folder where all of your Minecraft stuff is kept and saved, which you'd know because you have to do that manually, then you can click on these three dots and you can navigate to where that is. Otherwise, leave it alone. Let it create a new profile and then click on install. And then once it says, yay, it's installed, you should be good to go. If there's an error message here, which I haven't had basically ever, then you might need to go through and Google what it means and what to do next. But it should just say, hey, you did it. Then you can click OK and you can close that. And now if I type in the Minecraft launcher, it should pop up once this is open and loaded again for me. But now there is the fabric mod loader installed for 120.4. From here, we can go to the top of the window to installations. It's on the left side. You'll find a list of all the different installation profiles that are on your computer that run off of various versions of Minecraft. Just find the fabric loader one, hover over it and click on the folder button. This will bring open your Minecraft folder that has all your save stuff in it. And you may already have a mods folder. If you don't, go ahead and create one by just going right click, new folder, and then literally just call it mods all lowercase. Then if you go in here, there's probably nothing already in there. But if there is, just make sure it's the correct version for fabric, if not remove it. And then we're going to go back to the other folder and we're gonna dump the sodium mod inside of here by right clicking it, copying it, and then putting it inside of the mods folder. And that should be all that you really need to do for that. And then you can go back over here and everything should be good. I don't have anything in my resource packs that might cause problems. And there's just sodium in here. So now we should be able to just click play and it will download any missing Minecraft files that it doesn't have already. And then it should open up Minecraft. 
And now we have both fabric, and if I go into my new world, it should also have sodium built into it, so that I have beautiful high frame rate action going on. Everything looks buttery smooth, and when I hit escape and go to options, go to video settings, this is the interface for sodium. It looks a bit different than the default interface but this is where you can mess around with quality, performance, all that stuff to boost your frame rate as high as it can go. Although it's probably a good idea to cap your frame rate, especially if it goes up to like 600 frames per second, just because that can cause some weird stuff to happen in almost any modern game. But so anyway, that's, that's basically it. That is how you install Sodium for Minecraft. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show how to install Sodium, but also uh, so that you can have shaders using the Iris mod. So stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.